Hi guys, it's Jimmy from the podcast. Here's a highlight from a recent episode. This week, I sat down with Mia Fields. You know, I think um, the great thing about being a writer is you're always trying to like connect with people, like connect with like especially the artist and 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 say what's your story and trying to write their story in a way that becomes everybody's story or is everybody's story. Um, but you can't pretend like you don't have a heart and you can't not write your own story into it. So there's so often where I'm writing a song with or for somebody else but also telling the part of the journey that I'm at or incorporating that into the song. One of the things that I always do is like especially when I'm going into write for an artist I'll say holy spirit what do you want what do you want to write today mm. and sometimes I'll get ideas like months before like and I'll write just write down what the idea is. Um, I think I'll, I'll talk about Chainbreaker because I've kind of talked about you know Fierce and he knows my name or first and a few other you know podcasts or interviews but um and i mean and if you want it just instagram me and i'll tell you the story <laughs> um but like chain breaker was really special because um jonathan smith had had called and said hey like you don't have to do this no pressure at all but like i was at home for christmas and i met like this there's this guy lit in the worship and he was he was really great and i just i just feel something about him like there's something special about him so I'm going to bring him to Nashville, like invite him to Nashville, see if he wants to just do some writing. And I wondered if you would want to write with us. And I was like, yeah, okay. Like, um, <laughs> which, you know, now I think, you know, now I um, don't do as many co-writes that are just a random co-write. Like sure. now it's more like, you know, people that have like, you know, a deadline or like, you know, it tends to be a little bit more of that now. But when it comes to relationship, like people that I'm, you know, Jonathan's a great friend and I'm like, yes, if you believe in this guy, I believe in this guy. So Jonathan, um, this guy drives to Nashville from Arkansas, stays with Jonathan and his wife, Anna. And um, we just, I go to like up to Provident um, and write with him and he's telling us a bit of his story. Well, I go in there and he's like seven feet tall and like <laughs> looks like a lumberjack and he's like the biggest legend on the planet. Like he's like, I think he was drinking seven up and eating Twinkies. Like I was like, what a legend. <laughs> so I was like, this is like a true Arkansas boy. Like, and so we find out a bit of his story and it, his story is so beautiful and so amazing. Like the redemptive power of God, even seeing what God has done through him and with him. So he was talking about how he like, leads the worship and he struggled with some like you know some addiction things in the past and God's really like walked him through that and and now he goes and does prison ministry and I was like that's amazing like and and I said like how amazing like that you can you know you can be like a, such a testimony to the fact that God can like break stuff off your life like 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 and, and I th one of us said like that God breaks every chain of your life and I was like oh my gosh we should write a song called Chain Breaker and Jonathan gets so excited and we're like and Jonathan's like if you got pain he's a pain taker and I'm like yeah if you need like if you got chains he's a chain breaker <laughs> Jonathan and I are freaking out and Zach is like I think Zach was like what the yeah. heck and we're like it, we, so we ended up saying to Zach like Zach like like this is gonna be awesome he goes do you guys think like and I think he was kind of just navigating as well like is my story maybe maybe is my story powerful enough to tell like yeah. you know like what is it gonna have authority and we we're like yes like and and so then we write this song like that we we wanted it to feel a bit like not not too like pop because that's just not Zach you know we write the song and and I think Zach was still kind of navigating like do I want to you know, like what's God doing in this season? But like, I love him. He just jumps in the studio and sings his heart out. And, and I have loved seeing the journey of like that song, like that Zach just puts his heart into a song and trusts us to help carry that, you know, and get around him and to see like from just, you know, one, one friend believing in someone from their old church in Arkansas and saying, why don't you come to Nashville? Wow. And, just what God has done, like how beautiful is that? And I said this the other day, like um, the video clip for, you know, the video for for Chainbreaker. I'd never seen it, and like one of the one of my publishers said, "Oh, they just did a video for Chainbreaker. You should check it out." Well, I do check it out, and I cry my heart out because the video, like I, I've not said anything to anyone, 
but the video is my story. Like, you know, my mom really struggled with alcoholism, like, you know, when we were young. And so there's this like moment in this video where this kid is like shaking the mom, trying to get her to wake up. And the mom's like, whatever, go away. And then at the end that the mom is like totally sober and like fully redeemed and like they have a great relationship. And honestly, like that's my story. Like wow. that, like my mom struggled with things when we were young and now like we think she's the biggest legend. She's on fire for God, you know. So I think it's so cool how God does things like that. Wow. And I think it's cool too that, I mean, a lot of times in, in Nashville, especially in, in the last few years, like you were talking about, a lot of times songwriting is very – it's very strategic, you know, it's like we want right. we want to write with the artist, we want to have a deadline, we want to know that kind of what the timetable is. And I think it's cool with that particular story that it just, you know, before Zach was even an artist. Yeah, he wasn't even signed at the then time. It was just a relationship mm-hmm. and it could have turned into four hours of just hanging out with friends and yeah. nothing could have came out of it. But yet um, something really great came out of it that's impacted a, a lot of people. That's, totally. a, that's cool. Yeah, I love... I think it's always good to remember that, like, we're not trying to build empires. We're trying to build kingdom. Mm -hmm. And, like, kingdom is, like, God goes after the one. Kingdom is, like, how can we, like, raise somebody else up? How can you, like, honor somebody else? How can you be a blessing to someone else? And I I just am a believer that, like, that never, ever goes badly for you. Um, More and more lately I'm writing songs for one person that I can think of. Um, You know, we were writing with... um, a girl called Jodie Messina the other day who I'd never heard of. And then I find out she's this country artist and I'm like, oh, really? There you go. Like, (laughs) awesome. (laughs) Um, So then we, like, I listen to some of her songs and I'm like, oh, yeah, I've heard these songs. That's awesome. Like, so, but we end up writing with her. She's in like this crazy season and like, and we end up writing this, like, you know, I had this chorus that I'd gotten in church because I said, God, like, what, like, what does she need to sing over herself in this season? And what does she need to sing over other people? And, you know, some of the hard things she's navigating at the moment, like I didn't actually know about before I walked in the session, but I walk into the session with this idea, like there's no pain, there's no fear here. You know, there's th- your love makes chaos and confusion disappear. So there's no worry. There's no, you know, there's no tears here. Like, and like we find out, like, you know, she ends up sharing that she's navigating this really, really hard season and like, and ends up singing this over herself. And I thought, like, you know, what if the whole point was not that this song even gets released, but that you have a song that you can sing yourself into your next season? Wow. Um, that's kingdom. That doesn't go badly. Like, yeah. as far as heaven's concerned, that's a hit, you know? You got pain. He's a pain table. You feel lost. He's a way maker. If you need free. You can listen to this full interview and all of our Worship Together podcast episodes on Apple Podcasts and everywhere podcasts are found.